Some people may be wondering about why their prayers are not being answered. And what some people say, well, it must not be God's will to answer your prayer. And <laughs> we are going to go through some stuff to prove that is wrong. God's will. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. For all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us. So if God promised you something, it is going to happen. So let's go to John 15 and 7. So people can stop saying this if it is God's will. We are going to learn what his will is or his promises or one of his promises. Well, <laughs> let's go to John 15 and 7. Okay, here we go. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So, if you are obedient to God, he is not saying, if it is my will, but if you want it. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, so you are obedient to God, you are not consistently sinning. You are repenting of your sins. Ye shall ask what ye will. You can ask for what you want, and it shall be done unto you. So why would you say if it is God's will when he is saying, as long as, as, long as you are obedient to me, you can ask for what you want? Let's go to 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. For all the promises of God in him are yea. So he is going to say yes. As long as what? As you are, if you are obedient to him. As long as you are being obedient to him, the answer is going to be yes. Of course, don't be... Don't ask God to rob a bank or to kill off your wife or your husband or to make someone sick. Don't ask for anything sinful because that goes against the word of God. But other than that, you can ask for what you will. If ye abide in me, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what you will so whatever you want as long as it is not sinful and it shall be done unto you so what can hinder that well if you are in constant sin because you are not abiding in god when you are in sin okay what else if your faith is weak like you are not believing in what you are praying to God about, what else? So pretty much sin and like very bad faith because it really does not take much faith to get things done. Does that make any sense? So stop saying if it is God's will because as long as you are serving him, the answer is yes. For all the promises of God, and one of the promises is in John 15 and 7, right? This is a promise. But you have to keep your side of the bargain. You can't just say, well, let me sin and just pray to God. No, you have to abide in God. You have to be obedient to God. I pray that makes sense. 
Well, if it is God's will, <laughs> what? You are saying that because you are either, you either have like no faith or you are in constant sin. Or you just don't know what 2 Corinthians 1 and 20 is saying. So let me stop right here. God bless.